Okay, hey guys, so this video is going to be all about our developes, um, specifically from Dairy Airs that we're going to focus on, um, but then we're going to end with a combination. It's a combination I think we did the last week that we're meeting together, um, where we did developes front, side, back, side, and we held it for a really long time to build some strength. Um, so we're going to do that at the end of this class, but first I just wanted to talk a little bit about developé back. Um, so we've been doing this a little bit, um, well actually a lot in our rond de jambe combination. So we'll brush, remember we brush front, we go to passe, and then we développé back. Um, and développé back sometimes can get a little hard because we like drop our knee and aren't engaging the right muscles. And so we want to make sure that we're really um, honing in on those details. And so if you have a mirror, um, or if you're like doing, hopefully you're doing this in a place where you have a mirror and you can watch yourself and your technique. Um, so I encourage you to do that, but this is something too that like, you know, you don't have to practice it just when you're watching this video. Um, I like to practice my devil pay back wherever I am that I can see my reflection. So if like there's a big window, I'm like, ooh, like let me do my air best. Um, and so I don't know if you guys are like that, but, um, but take advantage of that at home or a lot of times I'll just be in the kitchen talking to my parents and I'll just use my chair like I am right now to do these videos and, um, and I'll just practice my leg extensions. And so, um, so this is a great opportunity for you to really hone in on those details. Um, and so I talked about this a little bit in class, um, but I want you to really work on it um, at home now that you have like the freedom and the time to be able to do things at your um, own pace. But when you start from a passe position, a lot of times the temptation is to go back like this. Right? A lot of people go back like this. So first of all, I think it's important to know that in your arabesque, your knee needs to be side. A lot of us do arabesques like this, where you can't really see your knee and it's not very turned out. So you want to make sure you're always turning out, keeping those hips um, Rotate it. Same thing with your supporting leg. A lot of times this supporting leg can go parallel. So you want to make sure that's turned out as much as possible and that you can see your knee. You want to be able to see the top of your leg and that means you're turned out. Um, if you're not seeing that and you're kind of seeing like the side of your foot and your heel coming up, you're probably not turned out enough. So working on that um, is really important. Um, but when you come from passe, you want to make sure that you're lifting up. You don't want to kind of like lift up to the side like you're, you know, doing some weird modern thing or like looking like you're, you know, I don't know, like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant, you don't want that, but you want to have this nice turned out position, so you have this nice turned out leg, and pasta, your foot is pointed, and you lift it up through this attitude position, right, so our attitude position is not bent, it's lifted, and you're going to feel that in this muscle, right, this like back muscle, it's always like, I always have to stretch that out after I do this, you come up, you lift it up, and then out, and wherever you have your knee, ideally, you want to push to keep that knee at that same level. So um, my goal is to always have my arabesque at 90 degrees. Um, it's really hard to get, <laughs> to get it above 90. I've never really been able to do that, but I think as long as it's at 90, that's like a really good place. If you're not there yet, that's totally fine. Um, but we wanna always be pushing for that, right? So if our arabesque is here, and you're always doing it here, but really, if you're really pushing it, you have the strength, you can kind of be here, you should always be pushing for that maximum, right? Because that's how we grow, that's how we, get our legs higher, that's how we get our core stronger, that's how we get our jumps higher, or you know, our splits farther down is always by going to that maximum, you know, within reason, you don't wanna overstretch your, your splits, right? Um, to the point where you like injure yourself or pull a muscle. But we always wanna be pushing ourselves in a healthy way um, to get to that next level and to really gain strength and to gain, um, you know, mobility with our flexibility and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you want to be making sure that you are at the highest possible level you can get at and then keep that lit, that knee there as you straighten into an arabesque. Um, and so with our arabesque too, we don't want to, we don't want our arabesque to be out here, right? We want to make sure that it's behind us. Um, and so from the front, what that looks like is you're lifting your knee up and going straight back. Keeping that upper body lifted, a lot of times when we do our arabesques, we kind of go this way like a modern thing we don't want to do that in ballet so we want to keep our chest as lifted as possible like I was talking about in our bar warm-up our core is engaged right so I mean when we're in derriere whether it's derriere tendu or whether we're arabesque you need to be engaging that core because if you're not you're going to be leaning forward that core is what pulls your body up still keeping the rib cage closed you don't want to be like you know arching your back you want to keep that same technique keeping the chest lifted the shoulders down your gaze is up if you have your arm in arabesque, you're looking out over that um, over that arm, and your leg is back. Um, and so, yeah, so practice that a couple times. And right now, let's do um, our double pay front, side, 
and back, and we're gonna hold to build that strength in all positions, which takes a lot of core workout, um, or a lot of core strength. Um, so doing those abdominal workouts, especially the Pilates one, that really like get those inner core muscles is really important. Um, but yeah, oh, also one last thing before <laughs> I actually stop talking and um, play the music is, um, actually two things, making sure those arms are engaged like we talked about, really keeping, like we don't want those elbows droop, right? We don't want our arms just there. We want them engaged um, so that if I came and pushed it down, there'd be a lot of that resistance. Um, and then the other thing is supporting leg. Your supporting leg is everything. If you have a weak, if you're like not thinking about this side of your body, as your leg is doing all these things, you're gonna be sinking into your hip. Your leg won't get as high. You're not gonna have the balance and the stability that you need. Um, so you wanna make sure that leg is turned out and that you are engaged all the way up and that your obliques are even engaged, right? We wanna be over the ball of our foot, really strong, kind of like a pillar so that our leg can move freely um, and it has like a really strong anchor. Um, so focus on that. And then for the combination, we're starting in fifth position. You can't really see my feet. This is really a really hard angle for me to achieve in this kitchen. Um, but it's gonna be slow. We're gonna hold it for a while. So the first part of it is you're gonna bring your foot up to coupe. So coupe on one, passe on two. Your double pay goes through an attitude. So we're gonna attitude position on three, and then we extend on four and then hold five, six, seven, and it's slow. Tanju on eight, and close, and then we go to the next side. Um, so a lot of strength. If your leg starts out up here, and it goes lower, 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 that's okay, but just make sure that you are fighting for that height and fighting for that strength. Okay, well, without further ado, let us get started. Up, guys um, if you practice that often I can guarantee your legs will get higher and you'll get stronger as well as like that's kind of like a abdominal workout as well um, so yeah great job and yeah 